So Pioneers fall tonight two to one against Minnesota Duluth. And joining me for the Jim Montgomery show is of course Jim Montgomery. And uh, coach, of course, we're talking about not uh, talking about not not only the. Uh, uh, the loss tonight for the Pioneers, but uh, really the fact that uh, in many ways you outplayed the Bulldogs, but, you know, tonight unable to get the power play going, going again, and, and when you had some good chances, not a lot of puck luck. Uh, Luco Savage has had a puck just bounce right in front of him with an empty net and, and Gambrell on a two-on-one. Um, but, but again, it was uh, one of those games where it felt like he deserved a better fate tonight. Yeah, we were great five on five, and you're right, our power play w was dismal. Um, not enough, not, we weren't even getting shots through, and we had to puck the whole time. We had a lot of times we had to puck in their zone, and that's where your best players need to, need to come through. We saw that's why we lost in the Frozen Four last year. Yeah, so I mean, tonight uh, Minnesota Duluth uh, gets, uh, by all definitions, a soft goal early in the first period to get things going. But then after that, you guys were able to pick it up. I thought one of the differences tonight is I thought the defensemen for the Bulldogs did a better job in front of their own goaltender regarding not giving you a lot of rebounds and not letting guys like Gambrell and Terry dangle and, and uh, slalom around them the way they did the first night. No, I agree with they, they, you. Know, they played a real smart game. Um, but I thought that we played better than we did yesterday. We just weren't able to get ahead. And, um, you know, you play a good team like Minnesota Duluth. It's ranked number one. You give up the first goal two nights in a row, it's hard to come back two nights in a row. Uh, yeah, it's a strange situation for the Pioneers now. I mean, you, you don't play another home game for about a month, but 15-game uh, uh, unbeaten streak comes to an end, but you have the big holiday break. So what is it that you tell these guys in the locker room? I'm sure you were in the locker room for a long time here about, uh, okay, yeah, we lost this game, but here's what we want you to do for the next three weeks. Yeah, well, we, we've been through this a lot, right? And uh, we're bringing the boys back on the 21st because we got that trip. We're going early to Chicago. We're going to go see the United Center tour it because that's where we want uh, our last game of the season <laughs> to be played. So that's going to be fun. Uh, it'll be allow us to give us enough practice time. Uh, but the, the main thing is, is last year we lost four in a row and we were embarrassed and we, we were hungry and we worked hard during the break. And that was the message. Let's make sure we have that same commitment we did last year so that we can have keep building on what we started this year well it looks like Troy Terry uh, was banged up there in the third period wasn't for sure that he was even going to come back on the ice he did come for the last couple shifts but do you, is it something that y you think is just uh, bumps and bruises and he'll be okay yeah, I mean, he, yeah, uh, Troy always has issues with his uh, hip flexors and lower back, and I think it's just a lot of ice time, a lot of stress on it. He'll be fine just with a little bit of ice. Well, you know, coming out off this first half of the year, you've got to be very excited, uh, you know, for this second half based on the wins that you had, the consistency, and, and, and probably more importantly, how many one-goal games you played at, your teams had to grind and, and really, you know, play to the last minute in just about every game. Yeah, and, uh, I, you know, unless we're able to build offensively and a lot more players start to get confident offensively, that's the way we're going to be. But last year was the same way, and uh, we need more people to go to dirty areas like uh, O'Connor and Jansen did tonight. And we need, the, the uh, you know, uh, several players. Besides, I mean, uh, Gambrell and um, Borgstrom and uh, Terry are going to score our beautiful rush goals, but the other guys, they got to score greasy goals. And and defensively, I mean, were you relatively happy with, with everything, or are you feeling that it's too, still too much the Will Butcher show out there? Oh, I'm happy with our team defense. I mean, the Will Butcher show is going to continue because we need him on the offense. Uh, we need him on the ice just to create, and like he did that play with Terry in the third period. I mean, not many D-men are going to see that, move it, and jump to the hole, and all of a sudden they're alone with the goalie. All right, well, Coach, uh, not going to talk to you for a while, but I want to wish you and your family a happy, happy holidays. Thank you, Jay. I know it's early. I mean, it seems really early to say Sorry, that. but we're, we're not going to be on air together again. It, it seems. But we will have some eggnog together. Yes, some eggnog, and there's going to be a hole in my life probably until early January. Yeah, you're missing the Chicago trip. I am. I yeah. am. I've, I've, got a, I've got a concert date. Um, anyway, congratulations on a fr good first half of the season. Disappointing loss tonight, but uh, very excited about the second half coming up. Yeah, thank you. All right. That's head coach Jim Montgomery. We'll wrap things up for Magnus Arena when we return on Sports Radio 104.3 The Fan.